And all over it. Guys, I'm excited. So this is not like, a, you know, really set up the way I need to show you guys. But just know that I'm painting the fish with the seasoning with the mixed in the in the oil and I'm gonna place it on the grill so the seasoning is gonna soak into the fish okay you paint the fish all over inside and out and that's it so now we are going to go back over here, zoom back out, tilt the camera, we're going to close the grill, we're going to turn it back on, air crisp, I'm going to bump it up to 450 so we get that nice crisp on it and I'm going to bring this down to 12 minutes because we see now the first one we didn't need that much time and halfway through we're going to flip the fish there you go now we press start and let it preheat also guys I also put onions in the slits of the fish okay all right when it's preheated I'll come back and show you guys what happened So okay guys, we have a minute and 27 seconds left. We're counting down and it's almost time to take it out. And this is the second one. I'm telling you, this grill is awesome. Awesome sauce. This is one of the best purchases I ever made. Just let's take a peek. Okay, let's, you know, let it go for a minute. Okay, guys, and there it is. It went off, and now it's time to take the fish out awesome perfectly cooked fish and that's it for today guys so there it is ninja foodie grill fried fish with all the oil air crisp talk to you guys soon bye okay guys so now it says add food I'm gonna add the fish again here we go you hear that scissors guys Woo child. there it is and the second one is in I'm loving my ninja foodie grill see you guys in a few minutes Okay guys, now it's time to flip the fish. So let's open it up. Wow. Awesome. Beautiful. So there it is guys. So in the next six minutes, we're gonna do the other side. So when it's finished again, I'll come right back. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna use a foodie, Ninja Foodie Grill XL to make some ribs. I'm just gonna try making some ribs. I bought these ribs from Costco. These ribs were already seasoned. So now I'm preheating the grill to get the ribs in. 
I'm going to cook the ribs max 30 minutes and then flip it over, turn it back on, cook it on bake for another 30 minutes and let's see what happens. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay guys, now it says add food. So now we're going to add the ribs on the grill. So we're going to see if we could fit all these ribs on the grill. Okay guys, yes, it seems like we could fit all four on here. And then I'm going to put the probe in the last one. Okay, so the probe is in this one, and we're gonna place it this way. And we turn this one the other way. So they are all in, guys. So now we're gonna close it down, and then. We're going to cook it on max for 30 minutes. So I'll see you in 30 minutes, guys. So guys, I had to stop it and then press start again. Put it on 300 degrees. Set it to an hour. Also put it on bake. So now I'm going to bake it for 40 minutes. Then I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to add my sauce on top of it and then close it and let it cook for the next 20 minutes. Okay, see you guys in a few. Okay guys, so now I'm going to flip them. Uh, it's now like 40 minutes and a little bit. I'm going to flip them. And then continue to cook them. So now I'm going to cook them on this side again for another 20 minutes. And then flip them again. So guys, now I'm going to flip them one more time and put the sauce on. 